responsibilities of sets of three kids. So here's where I'd stick my car. Then I have boy, boy, girl. Here I have boy, girl, boy. Here I have boy, girl, girl. Here I have, let's see, I've covered all those, right? Girl, boy, boy. And girl, boy, girl. And girl, girl, boy. And I think I'm now down to girl, girl, girl. And there's my sample space. Now this is the sample space of the size that I can expect you to write this. It's all I got anything to it. How bad can it be? Right? Now, the tree diagram is helpful for making this sample space. And unless you are told to do a tree diagram, it's optional for writing the sample space. There are some of you who can just write this down and go, oh, I can write that down like that. In which case, go right ahead. But the tree diagram helps. Now, we have an event E that the family has exactly two daughters. What is, what am I being asked for if I'm supposed to write down the event E that the family has exactly two daughters? <coughs> am I supposed to what? Am I supposed to write a number? Remember what an event was? You guys remember what it said? It said it was a subset of my sample space. So when I'm being asked to write the event, I'm just being asked to write what piece of this thing qualifies as being having exactly two daughters. So here's my event E. It's going to be a set. What's going to be in it? Is boy, boy, boy going to be there? No. What about boy, boy, girl? No. What about boy, girl, boy? No. Yep. Boy, girl, girl? No. Okay, boy, girl, girl. Girl, boy, boy? Girl, boy, girl? So girl, boy, girl. This order does not matter. What do you mean order does The order that I'm putting these in? The order of? No, it just says that they have two daughters. So it doesn't matter whether they were born at the beginning, born on either side of the board, or born afterwards. Girl, 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 boy, girl. <coughs> and what about girl, girl, girl? <coughs> Tatum's going, no, she's giving me this really funny look. Why this not? Because it says exactly two daughters. This isn't exactly two daughters, it's three. So that's it for my event that we have exactly two daughters. What do you think this would have to say in order to include everything I just wrote down and the girl, girl, girl? At least. At least, see? So F is the event that we have at least two daughters. So F would include everybody I wrote down before. Boy, girl, girl. Girl, boy, girl. Girl, girl, boy. And girl, girl, girl. Now what would I need to say if I wanted to eliminate everybody and only include the girl, girl, girl? What would you have to say? At least three would work, or it could just be, you could just say has three daughters because it's a family of three. Three, da three daughters would do it. So that means event G, which has three daughters, would be I'll write it down here. Just the girl, girl, girl. Now that's the events themselves. Chances are you're not going to be asked to write down these events unless you're writing on paper. So in web work, what's likely to happen is we'll tell you what the events are, and then we'll ask you to find the probability of those things. So we'll tell you event E is, it, is exactly two daughters. <coughs> what's the probability that the family will have exactly two daughters? And what is that probability? Three out of eight. So because there are three ways to get to exactly two daughters out of the eight things in my sample space. All right. Now we're moving on to genetics. I know some of you, but think of it this way. You always wonder, when would anybody use this math stuff? There are actually geneticists who do use this stuff. Some scientists out there. 
probability we can do this. When you run into genetics, we have dominant, recessive, and codominant genes. We're going to look at an example of um, more or less each type of this. And then we're going to use a thing called the Punnett square to figure out what happens when we put one parent of one type with a parent of a different type and figure out what the kids look like. And I know it's hard to describe plant things as kids, but I do it anyway. So Gregor Mendel, our favorite scientist of all when it comes to Punnett squares, found out that snapdragons, this is a type of flower, have no color dominance. In other words, if you've got a snapdragon with a red gene and a white gene, because you have two color genes, if you put a red gene with a white gene, they mix or blend and make a pink flower. In order to have a red flower, you have to have two red genes. In order to have a white flower, you have to have two white genes. So this is what it means by having no dominance or being co-dominant, that they mix together. So, we're going to take one flower that is pure red and cross it with one that is pure white. And we want to know what the kids are going to look like. Just thinking of kid flowers. Flowers? <coughs> so, if you have not made any fun of square before, here's your opportunity. Because you can't be more than have to happen. 